phone call to somebody that you haven't talked to for a while that you Mm -hmm. virtually shun because of the abuser that had to be stressful thing to do my sister was one and she was my little baby when i when we were growing up she was 11 and a half years younger than i and we hadn't spoken i think it was 12 13 years i actually messaged her on instagram And she called me, she wrote me, she was working. Oh my gosh, I miss you. I love you. No idea. I thought everybody hated me because that's what was ingrained in my brain from this unhealthy person. And I believed it. And we, we meet at the mall. Now we go to lunch. She helps me pick out clothes. (laughs) That's really cool. That's cool. So by beginning to let yourself honor your own feelings, let yourself trust your own judgment, you know, bringing that power back to you, not letting the other person's behavior and moods dictate uh, what you think about yourself, um, that rebuilding part is going to be an important part of the process. But to even begin doing that, you have to kind of realize what and see what is actually happening. So if if you're starting to see any of that within yourself, that could be a sign that some of this is going on. Um, You know, if you're not in therapy or in a support group, I just start journaling. Just, I mean, that one small step of writing down these interactions. (sighs) What other podcast show do you listen to? This one. No, don't you dare do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't That's you obvious. like, eh, that wrong. Is, yeah, wrong. Yeah, that is, yeah, that one is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was the wrong answer. That was the wrong answer. Not, I was not testing us. the limits to see no, what no, the response was. Stay tuned.